Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Apex Investor. This is the daily update for Thursday, December the 23rd. Uh, there's not going to be an update uh, for Friday evening, afternoon. I'm, I will do an update on the weekend regarding Friday. And uh, first of all, let's look at Meta Materials. They had a bit of a rebound today, trading from 255 to 285 and finished towards a higher the higher value at 281 uh, so yeah this is rebounding getting closer and closer to three dollars no surprise because yeah it is four days we are four days away from the torchlight oil and gas uh, assets being sold off that's the deadline December the 28th after which the dividend will be uh, promptly uh, divvied up to the shareholders of MMT um, so let's see what happens there and next let's look at clover Clover's up just a little bit i wanted to see if they are rebounding from a previous low of three dollars ninety cents so they were down at 380 looks like they are steadily rising recovering uh, where they were hopefully back to the seven dollar level and above uh, this stock was pretty stable and steady at uh, when it dropped from 20 then from 13 12 13 and was uh, relatively steady for the most part I'd say between well just under ten dollars but above seven so that's going to be interesting to see I'm just gonna open up MMTLP Okay, good news with MMTLP. Nobody's selling. It's just uh, looks like a flat line almost. It's barely moving. People are holding on to this, just waiting patiently for the deadline to pass and the dividend to be given out. But this is going to explode, and so will the metamaterial stock as well. So let's take a look at the news coming up next. This is the metamaterial subreddit, uh, and there's a video here uh, showing a chart that... Uh, Based on the price of oil, depending on the price of oil, uh, it's estimating how much the dividend might turn out to be worth. Uh, at the low end, we see here $30, which would be uh, less than $10 worth if the price of oil is $40. Well, we already know it's more than that. It's, it's around this range right here that has been highlighted. So the price of the dividend, according to this chart, could be as high as $30. To possibly even above 70 at the very high end which is uh, dollars per barrel which I don't think is the case right now but we're closer to the middle so we could possibly see 30 to as much as 50 per dividend so that's very interesting uh, we'll see what happens with that but that's an interesting uh, thought and let's move on Okay, my computer is going really slow right now. I can barely. I don't know if we even paused. Did we even pause? Hopefully we did. Otherwise, it's a big mess. Oh, okay. We did not pause. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I have to manually unpause it because I'm having issues with my computer. Essentially, uh, we have our first big news of the day. The first item uh, it's regarding nanotech, uh, one of the acquisitions of uh, metamaterials they are a subsidiary of metamaterials now they just comp they completed one of their contracts three days ago and this is the uh, the summary of it in a nutshell nanotech completed and delivered a contract worth 4.77 million dollars with the bureau of engraving and printing in canada on 21st of december from that link, if you click view, you will find all the details. I hope this is helpful. That's very helpful. And yeah, this person uh, nails it. This is huge news. Uh, considering the first nine months of 2021 revenue was only 1.8 million. So this is uh, more than double that. I wonder if all the revenue will be applied in the fourth quarter or if it was spread out. I also saw a post that the contract was renewed 
awesome. Yeah, that's really good news. So the contract was renewed. It was also renewed. I, I'm so excited. I can't even talk properly. Thanks for the info and update. I checked the charts at market, and the dip pattern on Meta was exactly the same as with gaming store stocks and cinema stock. So it's fair to assume Meta is in the same basket being shorted. Yeah, they are one of the most shorted stocks. And the stock market. I'd wager that nothing news, nothing new or other good things, uh, I think he's saying no good news matters until we have further clarity with the dividend and what that entails. Until then, we might see lower numbers as they seem to be shorted in a similar manner as the other two talking about GameStop and AMC. What was noteworthy, though, very low volume. Yeah, I had a thought as I was reading this comment. Uh, I feel like the dividend is a double-edged sword. I'll tell you why. Because number one, it's it's a good thing because obviously, you know, when the dividend is uh, finalized and it's it's given out, distributed to shareholders, you're going to make a lot of money. On the other hand, it's it's also it's not good. Uh, it's a sword against us because until the dividend has been settled and, and all that uh, red tape is dealt with, George can't really go full you know, beast mode and announce all the deals he wants to because there, there are still a lot of things that need to be uh, completely processed and done in the, pro in the proper order. There's an order of things and things have to be done properly. If you miss one small detail, that could be the ruin of meta materials they have to make sure they do everything by the book so i think that the dividend is kind of like it is a double-edged sword in my opinion okay so moving on let's make sure we are paused again oh there you go okay welcome back uh just a important public service announcement uh the U.S. markets will be closed on Friday. Uh, this coming uh, trading session, there will not be trading. Uh, it says here, in, ob in observance of the Christmas holiday, U.S. securities exchanges will be closed on Friday, December the 24th. However, Federal Reserve Banks and most of the nation's banking institutions will be open on that day. All futures and Forex products will be closed on Friday. Uh, for details on specific please check with the individual exchanges. Uh, extended hours trading for equities close at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, December the 23rd. So it's already passed and will resume at 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, December the 26th. Uh, bond markets will close early at 2 p.m. Um, and will be closed on Friday, December 24th. Uh, so I think that's it for this video. Uh, by the time we do, uh, well, we won't, I don't know if we'll do a weekend update. Well, depends if there's any news at, at all uh, during the weekend. But by the time Monday rolls uh, rolls around, it will have it will be the 27th. So we'll have exactly a day because the following day, Tuesday, is the, the last day. That is when the, uh, uh, the Torchlight assets oil and gas have to be sold off. So I'm not sure if MMTLP will still be available by then on the on Monday the 27th. If so, uh, you could expect to see the price increase a lot. It might go, it might skyrocket or it might be shorted to oblivion. But in either case, uh, hopefully it just stays stable, uh, remains at, you know, a dollar something. We will see what what occurs, uh, but it's going to be a very happy end of the year, I think, uh, the days following the 28th and, and this next this week coming up, the new week coming up. It's going to be very exciting for uh, Metamaterials uh, shareholders and MMTLP uh, owners as well. So thank you very much, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, for your support. Uh, if you have not, please uh, like this video if you want more content like this uh, please su subscribe to this channel as well where our goal is to uh, get to a thousand subscribers a short-term goal at least in order to get monetized perhaps even I could buy more uh, equipment better equipment 
better laptop. This laptop is uh, acting up pretty regularly and just gives me more, more incentive to do daily videos and uh, and you support this channel just by simply clicking your mouse. So cost nothing. Thank you very much uh, once again for your time. May God bless you and God bless your investments. Have a great weekend. And uh, if I don't post something on Sunday, we'll definitely have something for you on Monday. So until next time, this is Apex Investor. And